Welcome to our question on vectors. So this would be for higher GCSE students, typically aiming for grades 8 and 9. We've been told that we have triangle OAB, and we have a vector O to A as 2A, which is from here to here, and the vector O to B as 2B, which is from here to here. We've been told that N is a midpoint of AB, and that P lies along O to B, so that O to P is two shares and P to B is one share. So we can split the line O to B into thirds. And we've been asked to use the vector method to work out the ratio of O to Q to Q to M. So I'm going to begin by writing O to Q, this vector here, as a proportion of the line O to M. So O to Q is a proportion, which I'll call X, of the line O to M. But we can also see that O to Q can be written as O to A and then A to Q. So by equating these two roots from O to Q, I'll be able to work out the proportion of the line O to M that is O to Q. So I'm going to be able to work out X. So I'll begin by working out this O to M here. So O to M we can find by going from O to A and then from A to M. And we know that O to A is 2A. So O to M will be 2A plus A to M. And we know that A to M, we've been told in the question, is one half of AB. So we're going to work out the vector A to B. And this will be A to O, which is minus 2A. And then from O to B, which is 2B. So A to B will be 2B minus 2A. Which gives us A to M, half of that, which is B minus A. So now we have A to M. We can substitute this into here. So O to M will be 2A plus B minus A. So O to M will simplify to make A plus B. So now we can write this as A to Q, which is X lots of A plus B. So now we need to work out O to Q here. And we know that O to A is 2A, so we need to work out A to Q. And A to Q is from here to here. And this is a fraction or a portion of the line A to P. So now we can work out A to P, which will be from A to O to P. We know that A to O is minus 2A. So now we need to work out O to P which will go here. And we've been told that this is two thirds of O to B. So two thirds, and we know that O to B is given as two B. So two thirds of two B, which is four B over three. So A to P will be A to O, which we've written here, plus O to P, four B over three. So now we can write this in AQ, we have a proportion of A to P, so Y multiplied by, and I'm going to write the positive term first, so a bit 4B over 3 minus 2A. So now we have A to Q, we can work out O to Q. We know O to A is 2A plus Y lots of 4B over 3 minus 2A. Now we have these two roots from O to Q, we can equate the two and use simultaneous equations to work out X and Y. So X lots of A plus B is equal to 2A plus Y lots of 4B over 3 minus 2A. We'll expand out the brackets with X and Y. So AX plus xb will equal 2a 
plus 4by over 3 minus 2ay. So now I'm going to look at the a terms. We x a will be equal to 2a, which is this term here, minus 2ay. We can factorize out the a's, so x will equal 2 lots of 2y. Now I can equate the b terms, so xb is equal to 4by over 3. We'll factorize out the b's, so x is equal to 4y over 3. I'm going to write y in terms of x, so 3x over 4 is equal to y. And then I can substitute this expression for y in here. So we have x is equal to 2 minus 2 lots of 3x over 4. I'll simplify this fraction. So we have x is equal to 2 minus 3x over 2. We'll multiply this in by 2. So 2x is equal to 4 minus 3x. So 5x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4 fifths. So we know that this fraction here of O to N is 4 fifths. And I can write this in the ratio O to Q to Q to N. We've just found O to Q is 4 fifths. So if O to Q is 4 fifths, then Q to N must be 1 fifth to make up the entire line. So now we have the ratio O to Q to Q to N. And we can simplify this by multiplying both by 5. So the simplified ratio is 4 to 1. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.